to fall above the palace walls. They shine with equal splendor still above far humbler halls. I watch them from my window, but their bright and trancing glow reminds me of the freedom I gave up so long ago. The royal circlet of bright gold rests lightly on my brow. I once thought only of the rights this circlet would endow. But once I took the crown to which I had been schooled and bred. I found it heavy on the heart, though light upon the head. Although I am the head of state, in truth I am the least. The true queen knows her people fed before she sits to feast. The good queen knows her people safe before she takes her rest. Thinks twice and thrice and yet again before she makes request. For they are all my children, all that I swore to defend. It is my duty to become both queen and trusted friend. And of my children, high and low, from beggar to above, the dearest are my heralds who return my care with love. The dearest are my heralds, swift to spring to my command, who give me aid and fellowship, who always understand that land and people first have. That I may not deny, so I must send my dearest friends to danger and to die. A friend, a love, a child—it matters not. I know indeed that I must sacrifice them all if there should be the need. They know and they forgive me. Willing minds and loving hearts go straight to grasp the fire. These tears that burn my eyes are all the tears the queen can shed. The tears I weep in silence as I mourn my heralds dead. Oh, gods that dwell beyond the stars, if you can hear my cry. Let me send no more to die.